The Attorney General Godfrey Yabuadame has explained that the 10 trillion Ghana cities announced by the President to have been saved by his office during the State of the Nation's address was with respect to a single case. According to the principal legal advisor of the state, the case was against Africa Automobile Company Limited, who had won a judgment debt case against the government in 2011. There is more in this report. President Kufuado during the State of the Nation address expressed appreciation to Godfrey Yabuadame and his team for saving the state of judgment debt to the tune of 10 trillion Ghana cities. The Attorney General after this statement provided evidence to the media on the exact case that led to the savings. According to Godfrey Yabuadame, the case is a respect to debts owed Africa Automobile Assembly, which used to undertake vehicle maintenance services for the Ministry of Employment. He explained that the judgment debt was first given in 2011, but the amount was nowhere near the trillions claimed. So 10 trillion Ghana cities were just in one case. It's titled African Automobile Limited against Minister of Employment, Manpower, and then the Attenjura. So the original order by the court for payment to the amount is here, 10 trillion, 331 million, 841, 831 billion, 849 million, and then 411,000. So you see, it arose out of a simple transaction for a supply of equipment and vehicles to the government of Ghana. And then there was a default, you know. And the original sum for me was just about 979,000 Ghana cities or so, as of 1999. And by the time the judgment was awarded. The company, however, applied to the Court of Appeal, claiming the amount was 10 trillion, considering a 10% compound interest per month for 10 years of delay. But the Attorney General, who believed the judgment was procured on fraud, challenged the same and got it quashed. An action to set aside judgment based of fraud must be pursuant to a fresh action at the High Court. So it's actually a High Court action that you must file. That's a proper forum to pursue it. But we knew that I've gone to the Court of Appeal. Yes. They didn't go up to the Supreme Court. No. Yes. So, yes. A Court of Appeal had affirmed the judgment of the, of the, of the High Court so until the High Court. until we intervened and said no, um, the judgment ought to be set aside on the basis of fraud. The Attorney General further aligned other cases as outfit has handled, stating the amount saved in total are about 15 trillion CDs. I can quickly take, take you through this one too by a company called China Jinlen. And the China Jinlen case was a case in which the people were claiming about 582 billion Ghana cities against the government of Ghana. And ultimately the Supreme Court in the judgment ruling dated um, January 2023 set aside the order for the payment. And indeed, appealed our contention that the claimants even had no capacity at all. And, and the court said, if they want to claim the, the amount, then they must actually come to court and establish their identity and capacity. And since then, there has not been any such step. Because indeed, they, they have no capacity. The person who originally entered into transaction with the state had died in England. 